y'all really thought I was gonna show you the entire truck. Man, I gotta tell you guys, this is probably one of the coolest 0173s I have seen in a long time. Now, it, it does just have the appearance of being a stock, boring truck right now, but if you have an appreciation for clean trucks, this is one of the cleanest, nicest, most premium looking 0173s you're ever gonna see. I'll show you in just a sec. <laughs> What is up everybody and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So let's get into this video and kind of go over essentially what we have here. So we have a 2001 73 Power Stroke and this truck, I gotta tell you, is extremely clean, extremely premium. The only downside to this truck currently, but that'll change, is the interior being cloth. But it is the cleanest, nicest cloth interior. If you look at the seats, not even a rip on the driver's side seat. Everything is fully intact, original, and just amazing. So super stoked to show you guys this entire truck and what all it's gonna be and what all it has to offer because I'm, I mean, just super stoked. And not to mention, this brings back old memories because starting this thing up, just the sound of the 7.3, the high idle of the 7.3 like it is right now, all that stuff, it just reminds me of all the childhood memories of deer hunting and traveling with dad and his truck because he had an 0273 until about last year when it was wrecked we had to part ways with the truck so it was just a whole thing of like when i got in the truck i'm like man this is like memory lane in this thing right now like this is just crazy like it's just so cool and i think you guys are going to really like the way it turns out we're, we've got a lot of big big plans and we're actually going to go over those in this video so we're not only going to show you the truck we're going to go through what our intentions are for the truck because I'm super stoked. I can't wait for another video to show you guys all the plans. Like, I'm gonna have to just let it all out in this video because I think you guys are just dying to know too. If you guys have not done so yet, you're down to the last 13 days to enter to win our regular cab Longhorn build. The second gen Longhorn is what we call it. It's not an actual Longhorn, but we made it a Longhorn. It's got diamond stitch, saddle leather interior, five speed manual, four wheel drive, and that truck comes with $5,000 cash. Awesome, awesome truck, and it could be yours for literally as little as five bucks. You could buy a sticker and win that truck. Just think about that, a sticker or a koozie and win that truck with five grand. So anyways, guys, let's hop on over to the property where we have a little bit more space to shout and talk loud and show you around the truck without everything being so cluttered everything is so like crisp and smooth I just ah, oh, it's just so nice so nice down the road here and go through everything I am gonna get the first little acceleration in daylight on camera for you guys Everybody, we're here at the site where I'm gonna reveal to you this truck. Let me kind of tell you the name of the truck that we're gonna go for with this one. The goal for this truck is to call it the 2001 F350 Platinum Edition build. Check it out. Guys, I kid you not, this is the cleanest 
2001 7.3 I have ever, literally ever laid eyes on. When we get into the details of this truck and why we're gonna call it the 2001, the platinum edition of this old truck, because let me kind of explain this to you. This truck, first off, the black paint, I love it. It's just kind of like a classic platinum color. Like if you're gonna go the platinum truck, most of the time, it seems like their standard option that you'll see sitting around on lots the most is black, it seems like. So that kind of is fitting in and of itself. They didn't make that as an option back in 01. You could not get that. That is not a thing, and the reason we're gonna do it with that year of a truck is because the only way you can get one is if one is built. So that's why we're gonna do this. And we're gonna go through, and I'm gonna show you up close here real quick before we go into the details of the build, everything that the truck is and what it has to offer right now. So of course the truck is sitting on a newer like 2011 or 12 style um, set of wheels on it. It's got the 7.3 bumper, grill, headlights, all that stuff from the earlier model of the, the latest body cell, the 7.3, like the 99 to 01 style front end. And everything's in really good shape. I mean, just look at this paint, guys. Oh my gosh. Like, you can't make this stuff up. Like, just look at the reflection. And look how straight and narrow this truck is. I mean, it, it's just glass. The whole thing is glass. I mean, you guys should have seen the guy's shop. I mean, everything was just so meticulously set in place and taken care of and clean. Like, when you walked in, before you even saw the truck, you're like, I want to buy this guy's truck. 177,000 miles. So she has not even hit the 200K mark, okay? It is cloth interior, but again, nothing is ripped. Nothing is torn. There's a little bit of like foam and stuff sitting on it from the seat cover that was on it, but just super clean, not all stained up. I mean, it's super, super nice. I mean, look at the door jams. Just look at these door jams. Look at the bottoms of the doors. <laughs> I mean, like, the cab corners, okay? There's no rust anywhere. The truck has no rust on it. I mean, just look at this thing. Okay, okay, there's a little bit of surface rust starting right there, my bad. <laughs> the thing is just too clean. It is just so, so clean. Look at the brakes he's got on this thing too. It's got like the slotted brakes. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see. Um, maybe I'll show you in the front, so maybe that'll be a little easier. But they're the same all around. Can't really tell. But it's like the slotted brakes, like the more premium high-end stuff. Bed's not all dinged up, not banged up. He said it's not like, you know, an old truck that was in horrible shape and it was all patched up and bondoed up and crap. He's like, no, like what you see is how it was. I mean, it's just, it's that clean. Bed liner. Bed is not beat up at all. I mean, this bed is in amazing shape. Because usually, even if you do have a bed liner, some of these beds, you can tell where they were beat up and they'll be like dents in the bed and in the wheel wells and stuff. Bumpers aren't rotted out. It's got a five inch polished exhaust, stainless steel. I mean, just look at the cab corner on this truck. And the rockers open the door. I'm telling you, I mean, you can eat off this thing. <laughs> it's it's so clean. This is one of those that meet the meet the standard. I mean, it is it is just so so nice. Why are we calling it the Platinum 0173? Let me kind of go into those details really quick. First off, we're going to be doing a full front end swap on this truck. So it's going to be in terms of front end. My bad, not a full front end swap. We're going to do a front end six liter power stroke swap. So we're going to do the color matched 60 bumper, color matched 60 grill newer 60 smoke headlights we're going to be doing either the newer like 2015 or maybe even up to like the 2017 to 19 style tow mirrors on the truck smoked recon cab lights smoked tail lights i'm kind of torn on wheels and tires the truck does already have a two and a half inch leveling kit in the front i'm probably going to keep that on the truck just because part of me wants a big truck part of me doesn't so part of me is like uh keep it the two and a half inch leveling kit like i like a big truck i love a big truck and we've got another plan i'm going to tell you about here soon about another big truck as to why we don't need this one to be big because we have another truck that we're going to do that with for this truck i just don't want to go that route we're going to keep it leveled and just maybe do some like 22 by 12s i'm not sure what i want to do though in terms of wheels and tires part of me wants to go with like a forged american force wheel and go with that forged look that polished look and then another part of me is like go with a black wheel that's not a forged wheel 
and just so that you don't deal with like pitting and stuff like that. Do you guys see any snow around here? We hardly ever get snow anymore, it seems like. So I'm not too worried about that in terms of that one, salt and everything else. I don't know, what do you think would fit? Look, I feel like if you're gonna call the truck a platinum, it, everything about it has to be premium. Speaking of everything being premium, let me know in terms of wheels and tires down in the comment section below because I'd like to get those on the way here soon just to kind of change the look. Real thing that will make this thing a platinum is the interior. Because everybody knows that if you're only talking about exterior, the platinum's really not that different than any other Super Duty, pretty much other than a little bit fancier headlights and a little bit fancier grill. For the most part, the truck's not any really, really different exterior-wise than like a Lariat or King Ranch or anything else. It's, it's really just not. So we're gonna be doing a fully custom interior with this truck. We're gonna be taking all these seats, all these cloth seats that are in really good shape, and we're gonna have all of them done with a diamond stitch pattern leather interior that's black. The diamond stitch pattern will go right down the center, all through here, where it's separated out in terms of like feel and texture of the seat, this whole center portion. Probably gonna do more of just like a flat here. But anyways, for the front seats in that more changed up portion of the seat, we're gonna be doing the diamond stitch pattern. Same in the back, diamond stitch pattern through here and through here, where it's soft and smooth. It's gonna be soft and smooth. Same on the other side, where it's got this different texture and coloring through the middle of the seat. That's where we're gonna be doing the diamond stitch pattern on that as well. Thought about doing the entire headliner as well to match it. I don't know if I wanna go that extreme just because now you're talking a whole different level and like as cool as that would be, I just don't know if for me personally, I wanna spend an extra thousand dollars just to do the headliner with that just because I don't know about you, but I'm not looking up in the sky the whole time when I'm sitting in the truck. I'm just not. Now if my seats are top notch, that makes me happy. Maybe throw some weather techs in here that are black too to protect the flooring a little bit more. Which by the way, in terms of protecting the flooring, it didn't get dirty until I got in the truck because the carpets were so stinking clean. Oh my goodness. So that's the whole process. That is the whole goal for this truck in terms of interior, the front end appearance, wheels and tires, you know, mirrors, cab lights, tail lights are probably gonna get swapped out with something a little bit different. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's the plan. I was talking about doing a 7.3 or a first gen recently. I was talking about like an OBS 7.3, which is still on the table. I'm still thinking about picking one up or a first gen, depending on what I find and what deal pops up, that's the right deal. And I wanted to do something that was like needed, you know, had dents and needed doors replaced and hood and paint and body work. Like it needed a lot. So there could be a drastic transformation versus taking a truck that's already really nice and just making it nicer. You know what I'm saying? So we're still gonna do that. But with this truck, it's just one of those things that I really like it, but I just, I gotta change something on it. That's already gonna be pretty expensive as it is with the front end, you know, conversion to, to the look of the 60 trucks, like the later 06, 07 trucks. And then in terms of like the interior and the wheels and tires, I mean, that's gonna be expensive. That's a lot of money out the window, so to speak, that you're not gonna get back on the truck, but it's the look that I want and it's the look I wanna go for. Well, everybody, that's gonna put a wrap on this video, but stay tuned for all of the big things coming to this truck. Also, we should have a video. The next one up should be going over everything that we just got done to the red truck, the maroon truck, the regular cab that you guys could be taking home. Whole bunch of stuff just got done to that truck. I just told him I dropped it off at a big service shop, not the same one that I had it at before, and I told him, I said, hey, the other shop said I didn't need front end stuff, but I said, just check through it because I want a double take on it. Actually, this would be a triple take on it just to make sure everything's good because if we're gonna be running, why wheels on this truck I gotta make sure it brakes good steers good drives good doesn't have any front end components that are going weak they said okay and they actually went through and replaced a ton of stuff in the front end just so it's all brand new I think ball joints pitman arm steering shaft steering box a whole bunch of stuff I had them go through and do on that red regular cab set it's all done for the next person and they don't have to worry about that stuff for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of miles they can just enjoy the truck not to fix the truck thank you guys so much do not forget to enter to win that truck every five dollars is five entries to win right now and you can win the regular cab five speed with five thousand dollars cash thank you guys so much i'll catch you in the next video peace